I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly, weekly Chica, Chica Chica. Chica. We're supposed hey. not to have that weekly Chica Chica. Well, we met. Okay. We, we had one little, little hump on that. But for like three months of not doing that, that's actually outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> The, yeah, we've taken a, a rather extended break. Yes. For a few reasons. Things happen. Kind of like life majorly happened. Yeah. That you already know that she got her citizenship back in September. Uh, October. Good. Mama Papa came. Yay! And attended. That was kind of cool. And attended my graduation. That they yeah that they actually got to attend your graduation all the way from the Philippines. So with my brother so. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Kuya came over for that. And your uh, sister, too. My sister from... We should put them all together in pictures, so... Oh, well, I'll throw up some fix, uh, pictures of the that. The welcoming when we went to Los Angeles, my brother, and a picture together with your sister. Yeah. So we could compile that so they can see. That we really thought hard about doing a lot of the, the videoing during stuff that was going on, especially with Mama and Papa here. Yeah. It was... Kind of want to be in a little bit more personal of a trip, and, and we'll pro I'll probably do some kind of montage. Yeah, the one thing that we don't really um, take a lot of videos because one, it's shocking for them to they come from they came from Philippines and they came over here. It's a lot of explanation for me to do and this and this, and I rather have that intimate moment of like hey yeah. this is this this is this and this is how i feel before you know rather than being so awkward and yeah and they they, they weren't terrible papa more so than mama but you know they, they, neither one of them were terribly comfortable on the camera like that yeah and it became like uncomfortable so yeah we decided not to and i probably will do a montage of the entire three months yeah and we went to several places like i write it down like more than 10 play 10 towns yeah we went we we did do a fair amount of touring and, and wandering around yeah but again with cindy working during the week uh and we kind of a little bit harder but yeah. we did go out one day that uh when they were here <laughs> we had a record rainfall for our, our fall weather and I don't think it dried out the entire three months they were here in the desert. Yeah. We but we did go out one day touring some of the, the desert washes and stuff like that, and they were kind of surprised and yeah. impressed with all that. Yeah. And you went them, you also showed them to go to the uh, homeless downtown, and they appreciate that too. Yeah, I did. I took a, uh, a trip down by the, the main homeless centers and, and let them see what it was like here and, and that there that there were just as many homeless here maybe maybe not just as many but there was a substantial number of homeless here just like in the philippines yeah and now papa and i had a lot more talk about it that because of the labor laws and everything here it's way harder for them to try and make any kind of money and True. You know, it's not like there where you know, the picking people up from Home Depot is perfectly legal. And a routine way of getting, you know, uh, basic labor on a construction site or if a landscaper needs somebody for a day to, to run down to some hiring center and get four yeah. or five people is not, it's a common practice and it's perfectly above board. Correct. Uh, and yeah, it wound up being a neat time for them, and I, I'm glad they came. We did get a lot of photo. We got some video, and I'll kind of go back through here in the next few weeks and check that out and see if we can come together with a decent montage. Yeah, there's a lot in my cell phone, too. You, you could grab over my Google photos. Yeah, the, the, between her photos, my photos, and the video that we took, we should be able to come up with a, a decent little montage of the entire trip. Yeah, it was really cool, like... It was really, really good experience for them. The, the one thing that uh, I, I really felt bad from the minute they hit ground. They, they, they were freezing. Yeah. 
uh, as much as we build them up about how hot it gets here in the desert. <laughs> You're always wrong timing. <laughs> they froze their entire time here. They don't want to go outside the house. That, uh... Well, I'm, I pay a lot of respect with them. You saw that picture that I took when they are doing a wash, hand wash outside. Yeah, they did. They, they did hand wash their entire time here. And uh, about a month or so into it, I built them. Well, Papa and I built a... Uh, uh, wash station for them so that they didn't have to, to bend over and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to try and figure out some way to get hot water out there for them, but I couldn't realistically. <laughs> Mama just started out. using the sink and how Papa do the <laughs> rinsing. But, uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting it was an interesting time that uh they cooked a lot of dried fish. Fish and vegetables and just well, all they cooked a lot of dried fish too, but they did it out back in the burner. Yeah. And it was way cool that I've got I, we've got a fire pit out back that I kind of like going out for fire every now and then. And I, I'm cheap enough. I won't go buy the firewood. And I'll save tree trimmings from uh, our house and neighbors. And so I've got a ton of little tiny branches, twigs for kindling. Yeah. And they, they'd use it to cook with. But that's what they normally cook with in the Philippines. And it was really cool. I and have a lot of pictures. And that's their only kitchen is a dirty kitchen out back that they, they cook with wood so that it was perfectly normal for them. Yeah, it's like the second day they arrived or third day and when they came around hitting the ground here in Phoenix, we cooked dried fish Im immediately. Yeah, they hadn't been in Phoenix 24 hours before dried fish was being cooked out back. <laughs> <laughs> and then rice too because like we've been eating American food and they're, they're kind of like having a fasting for rice and like Rice would grow well. Yeah, that they we, we had a lot more rice that they I, I think they oh my god the small rice for the had. less than for uh, months here we bought like four sacks of rice and fifty pounds. You don't remember that? I didn't realize we bought that many. Wow. Remember yeah. when we arrived and we bought like four fifty pounds? But uh, yeah, we went back. Our, our rice consumption went way back up. <laughs> Well, that's well, which that's not a bad thing. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, we got to introduce them to a little bit of American stuff, too. Uh, yeah. They'd never had red beans and rice. No. And uh, Papa loved it. Uh, my mom, not, I think she liked it, but... Not really. No? She's okay to eat it, but if you want to offer her, she will eat it a little bit. Yeah, I... I <laughs> Papa really enjoyed it, but if you if you hand him you know a choice of a bowl of rice and a rice <laughs> red beans, red beans I, I'm pretty confident he'd take the, the the steamed rice. Yeah. That's but uh, what's next? Yeah, we it's been long enough that we actually had to do a a a, a checklist. So. Uh, to so they when mom, mom, they were originally scheduled to stay until April, April that they were going to stay the six months. Which would have let them come until the, the temperatures did start to warm back up. But they were getting homesick. Uh, they were done freezing. <laughs> Just a lot of things happened, too. And it's a good thing, too, because of the coronavirus. You know, like, it's good that they came, go home yeah. with them. Oh, I thought, I just realized that. At the Myrna appointed at, out on Friday, too. I just realized that if I would have stayed, I could have I could had. Because I went back with them, and... Not knowing how long it was going to take to get stuff done and the horror stories I heard about taking three days to do stuff. Yeah. Uh, went back, renewed my ACR card, uh, got the registration for the Rusi, and <laughs> got it done in one day. <laughs> uh, cool. Got, got both of them done in the same day. Yeah. And after we got that done, went back to uh, uh, Mama Papa's place. Spent about four days, Mama and Papa. Yeah. And then just came back early. And I didn't, that didn't dawn on me, but the uh, corona outbreak was just happening when I was supposed to have come back. Yeah, that's true. So maybe it's a good thing I did come back. Everything has a reason. And oh, God uh, has a reason for everything. God has a plan. It's usually way better than anything we've got. You try to control it, but God is in control. Uh oh. In, in way a more lot ways, of ways. Than, than you would ever expect. Yep. But we've basically got our house to ourselves now, except a roommate. 
Yeah, we have a real Mick. Rick. His but, name uh, is Ricky. Rick he is has a, a lot in our pictures or videos, too. He, he's been in quite a few of the pictures. He's been in a couple of the videos. Yeah. Uh, you're actually supposed to start seeing him a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, he was actually supposed to have been back by this point, and, and we were going to kind of do a little bit better, different introduction, but we're going to go on the fly. <laughs> uh, Rick has been staying here four August, months? Since August. Since August? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Rick's been here for quite a while then. So six months. Yeah, he's been here about six months. Uh, that uh, Rick is somebody I've known 25 years, 28 years. I've, yeah. I met him not too long after we got out of here. And, and him and I have stayed friends, good friends for a long time. Yeah. There's just a lot of things happened in the past three months because, like, Last December was so busy too with Kuya coming here, visited us oh, with yeah. added two friends, and yes, it's just yeah. At one point, we had nine people in the house. <laughs> it was so funny, interesting. Like all are watching in TV and just sitting in the couch or in the floor, and yeah, it was. Yeah, we've got we've got a good sized Filipino house. Yes. That our house is uh, eight. 46 or something like that square foot. Yeah. 846 square foot. That, that it's a small. It's 936 or 846, something like that. It's 100,000 square feet. And we had nine people in the house, staying at the house for about a week. For a week, yeah. Uh, New Year's Eve, we had 15 people. 16 people. 16 people. Uh, we it, it, it's, it's been interesting. Yeah. Uh, Rick, Rick is... Uh, I tease him about being a redneck Cajun. Mm -mm. That, that he's an interesting character at best. When Cindy first met him, it, it took a little bit because he's he's a stereotypical you know Cajun type redneck. That, that he he's loud, he's boisterous, he's fun. <laughs> but it, it took Cindy a, uh, a day or so, to, uh, a couple of meetings to get comfortable with <laughs> just the volume. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, now well, by. Mama is like just giggling. <laughs> it took Mama and Papa meeting to get to get used. Well, to Well, yeah, I know. And Papa is just so blunt and honest. Like Ricky, I don't understand you. <laughs> but well, now I Mama like... and Papa actually miss me, miss Rick being around. Yes, that's true. But we're actually going to get to change that here. Yeah. Glad. Tell them. <laughs> we're moving. We promised an announcement. We're moving. <gasps> yep, we're moving somewhere. <laughs> we'll be like a nomads. <laughs> well, we we well, know at least the a title. we're going to. We'll put nomads moving <laughs> our title. Uh, in July. August something. July end of July, beginning of August, sometime in there. Hopefully before Bunga Days. Yeah. The, we're moving back to the Philippines. That's yeah. it. So we'll just give more the details on that this coming chica chica or you know what I and as things move along and as things go along and as everybody gets a little bit more comfortable with it and it, it right now a lot of the, 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 the details are still up in the air. That's true. So yeah, my work already now and they're okay with it. So and then we'll tell you more in the details. So we should have an exciting and it's going to be an exciting four or five months, and because of that, the format of this, this is going to change a little bit. Yes, it does. Uh, I need to up my game. I need to get uh, way better at the editing and the, the video shooting that we're doing, learning to use all this, this stuff that I've got way better than I have been. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Definitely get way more consistent. Get back into being way more consistent, like I was there for a while. Yeah. Uh, we've got a website that somebody keeps on promising to. Well. <laughs> but we'll, we'll we'll work out a lot of that stuff as it goes along, and so you're gonna see a lot more different videos. You're gonna see start seeing a lot more of Rick. As a matter of fact, I've got the video shot, and I need to get it edited. So hopefully it'll be up by Friday. That's just Rick and I, or mainly Rick, just working on his car, and kind of an introduction of who Rick is. Yep. Uh, the reason that was the segue, that Rick's actually going to go with us. 
when we go back right the, in the beginning is going to go back that back in the late 70s he was in the Marine Corps and was stationed on a ship that was ported out of Subic so he spent quite a bit of time in Subic and wants to go back there he wants to see, uh, hook up with Mama Papa he really wants to go to the town fiesta yeah We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That would be it. But that's kind of where we're at. Yep. Thank you so much. Any more you want to add? No. Okay. No. So. Mabuhai. Cool.